What's good, y'all? It's Akira here, back with another vid. D O. And today, guys, I want to talk to you about like some of the easiest businesses that you can start with your Cricut. So a lot of the times, um, a lot of my videos, I talk about like individual items that you can make with your Cricut to make money. But this time, I want to talk to you about actual small business types that you can start with a Cricut. Um, so I'm going to give you my top five kind of niches that you can get into the Cricut business. Um, I think that having a niche and then kind of knowing what products you want to make after you get your niche is a really good way to start. Um, and then also I want to start by saying like you may buy a Cricut and like have the idea like you want to make clothing and that's all you want to do. Um, but then you start making clothing, you start getting orders and you kind of realize like, hey, I hate making shirts. Um, and a part of starting a Cricut business um, or any handcrafted business is that yes, you have to like the product that you're making and people have to like it to be able to buy it. But you also have to like making it. If you don't like to make the product, it's gonna be very difficult for you to scale to keep going and to really enjoy what you're doing um, so I want to just preface with that so that you guys kind of you know get ideas from this and make sure that you actually enjoy what you're making so you can scale your business your handmade business so without further ado let's get so into the first thing I want to talk about which a lot of people get their Cricut for is to start a clothing business um, so starting a clothing business with Cricut is really simple really easy to get started um, you have to invest in your Cricut and vinyl and the accoutrement that comes with owning a Cricut and then like a heat press so those are the things that you kind of have to invest in first before you can get started um, but starting a clothing business with Cricut is really easy um, and it's really easy to make your own brand uh, because Cricut you can pretty much make any not you can't make anything obviously there's some limitations but there's so much that you can do with it in regards to clothing that you can pretty much make your own brand so you can come up with your own logo your own designs um, and kind of really curate a brand with your Cricut um, you can make t-shirts you know sweatsuits sweatshirts baseball um, what do you call it baseball jerseys um, you can make uh, football jerseys you can make basketball jerseys I mean whatever you want to do seriously um, you can do it with clothing and now because so many people have cricket it's become a really popular thing there's so many types of vinyl there's sports vinyl there's puff vinyl there's holographic glitter um, it's so many options for you to really customize and make things unique to what you want so that's something that's definitely really really easy to do with your Cricut and you can pretty much customize any type of clothing um, I showed you a few examples on the screens of how you can get really creative and make your Cricut made clothing not look homemade and really look like a, a established brand um, so clothing is really easy to make and don't just stop on like sweatshirts t-shirts and that type of thing you can make bralette tops you can make jean jackets you can make varsity jackets I'll link my video up here when I made the varsity jacket with my heat press um there's so many things you can make socks you can make hats I mean pretty much any clothing item vinyl can go on to it um, and you can customize and make your own for your brand so clothing is like a really easy one to get started especially if you in the future want to have like a bigger clothing brand you want to get into like sublimation where you can make sweatshirts like this I didn't make this is from a store but you can use sublimation to make items like this uh, but Cricut is a great place to start to grow your business so then you can you know decide in the future Future. hey I don't want to make hand making things anymore I want to get them manufactured um, but starting small with Cricut is a great way to get started <clears throat> and people always need clothes people are always buying clothes every season every year so it's a great place to make money um, so the second thing and this is huge I mean is wedding um, like that wedding niche so within weddings there's so many things that you can do um, in there's I mean you can focus on weddings as a whole you can just focus on wedding decor you can focus on bridal items like you know bridesmaids um, robes and slippers and all that kind of stuff you can do there's so many things that you can do within the wedding realm um, and it's a great way to make money especially if you want to in the future get into like party planning and stuff like that this is a really great place to start um with your cricket there's so many things that you can customize or make for weddings that can you can specialize in like low cost weddings where you make really affordable you know favors or you make really affordable tablescapes or just 
cute little custom items that people use within their wedding um you could focus on like the bride and her process of having like uh bridesmaids um robes made slippers made um you know hangers for a dress you can specialize in bachelorette party favors and you know a lot of people like to do fun stuff for the bachelorette party you can you know make bride squad shirts you can make things for the um bridal party when they go on their trip you can make custom bathing suits if they're going on a tropical um bachelorette party um you know sweet people go on bachelorette trips so there's so many things that you can do with your cricket within like the wedding um niche that will allow you to start there and grow into something bigger especially if you you know only have so much money to start you kind of know cricket and you want to you know take your business from you know a small handcrafted business to eventually like a event planning um or just a larger business on that type of in that niche um so weddings are a great place to get started there's so many things i have a really good video i'll link up here um that is talking about things that you can make within that wedding niche if that's something that you want to do but you want to know more specific items that you can make so to kind of segue into the next one because these are separate things weddings and parties are like two different things um so the birthday party and like the party niche is a really big one with cricket and with uh people making customized items it's a really great place to get started and there's i mean there's so much that you can do within like the party birthday party or just like regular party niche so with the birthday parties a lot of people focus on like children um you know a lot of people get t-shirts made for birthday parties um if you want like a cake topper if you want that type of stuff people kind of focus on that you know custom items for a kid's table for a party um, a lot of people focus on that but there's also another side of party that you can focus on um people a lot of people make like chip bags to customize chip bags or they make um you know labels to go over like liquor bottles or there's tons of things that you can do with this niche um but why i think it's a really great place to start is because one uh parties you know when people do parties and things along that line um they like to go big and like nowadays people make these huge parties for the kids they have them every year and people are always having parties no matter what the occasion so whether it is um a kid's birthday party whether it's a retirement party whether it is a uh, valentine's day party that you're having with your girls or maybe you're having a girls night party at your house so many people have these things and so there's so many things that you can make within this niche to make money and then you can have consistent uh sales because people are always having parties no matter what type of party it is people are having parties um so the birthday party party niche is a great place to get started and to make money with your cricket um, so this next one um, I think is a really great place to get started as well and it's the supporting other small businesses with products so as a small business um, people you focus a lot more on like packaging personalization customization um, to to differentiate yourself from the bigger brands because as a lot of you know small businesses do have to charge a lot more for their products than like an Amazon or a Walmart do because they obviously buy things on a bigger scale those things are manufactured and which allows them to charge way cheaper prices um, so with small businesses um, one of their things that they have over big businesses is that personalization is that packaging is that special moment that when you order something offline and you get it at home that's the difference between big business and small business um, and you can be a supporter of small businesses um, there's a lot that you can do with Cricut I made a whole video that allows you to show what type of packaging that you could actually you can actually make custom packaging for brands and I'll put that up here if you want to check that out uh, but you can custom you can make custom packaging you can make um, you know thank you cards you can make custom mailers shippers bubble mailers um you can make tags for people who have clothing brands um there's so many things that you can do with your cricket in that realm of supporting other small businesses um you can offer custom packaging like say for instance you want to support other small businesses but you want only want to support 
uh, uh, like cosmetic businesses. So you could offer custom lip gloss tubes, you could offer, you know, custom packaging that comes already assembled where, say for instance, a company sends you their lip gloss containers and you customize all the tops of the lip gloss containers and send them back. Or you can offer a certain amount of packaging and you can customize that packaging and offer it to that niche of people so there's a lot of things that you can do within like supporting other small businesses so just an idea to get your mind flowing if that's something that you want to do with your cricket also <clears throat> another the last one is kind of something that I see a lot of people do um, and it's just more like general crafts so if you're a part of like any Facebook groups, any crafting groups, if you follow any blogs, if you're on TikTok, I mean, wherever, there, you kind of see that there's like a, a wave of how things go in the crafting world. So there's, there's an item that becomes popular, it peaks and then it dies down. Something else becomes popular, it peaks and it dies down. So you could be a general kind of trend uh, trend wave rider with your Cricut. So like at one point the uh, acrylic signs with the, I'll put it up here somewhere, with the CD, the track name and the CD, whatever, blah, 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 whatever. Those are really popular at one time. They kind of died down now because a lot of people are making them, but you can be that crafter that kind of rides those uh, highs and lows of popular products. Um, at one time, rolling trays and ashtrays were like the huge thing everyone was doing them everyone was making them and then it kind of dies down some you know signs are really you know get really big at certain times of the year um you know christmas time and you know the holiday season those things get really big so that's another opportunity to kind of ride a trend um like throughout the year so or like if you want to you know make things for valentine's day and stuff like you don't have a general like oh i make this one product uh, but you can kind of ride crafting waves or things that people are really interested in that time of year and that can be your business um that requires you to learn a lot more skills and learn how to work with a lot more materials but it also allows you to not be bogged down with making one thing uh, because like I said at the beginning, if you are going to do a handcrafted business, you want to make sure that you like what you're making and that it's going to be interesting or pleasurable, at least a little bit pleasurable for you to make uh, on a larger scale once your business starts growing. Um, so yes, those, those are my top five, uh, niches that you can start looking into if you want to make a business with just a Cricut. Um, why I say that? Because Cricut is a really inexpensive, they're, they're almost under 200. A lot of the older models, like the Maker 2 and the Air 2 are like under 200 to 250 dollars now. So it's really inexpensive way to get a whole business started and you can really make a lot of money. There are hundred thousand dollar Etsy shops that used Cricut and other things to make their products so it's definitely being done and it's definitely possible for you to do it too so I hope these five ideas help you get your brain flowing on things that you can actually do with your Cricut if you have one if you're thinking about buying one or you have one and you're not utilizing it in the way that you think you can I hope these ideas helped so let me know down below what you make with your Cricut um, if any of these ideas kind of got you in a different direction of what you're currently making or what you plan on making in the future if you want to start a business with Cricut or like a little side hustle um so I appreciate it let me know down below if you have any other ideas for videos because you guys know I do whatever you like uh thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one